hello students good morning a very very good morning to all of you today children i would teach you the chapter the portrait of a lady and since it's a long chapter we will do in two days so today is the first part part 1 i will do and tomorrow at exactly at 11 o'clock again i start and it will be the part 2 of this chapter okay so here students my name is nupur roy i am an english educator on the an academy my uh, qualification is i am masters uh, degree i have in english and i have 28 years of experience and my referral code is n u p u r 10 all right here you see naturen uh, to unlock unlimited free classes please use the code n u p u r life n u p u r life where you would never stop learning and you can follow me on an academy at this link okay now here we start Now here dear students in this covid time we all know that we have to just a little message i would like to give you that we all know that it is we have to follow the social distancing to and sanitize to keep the virus away and let us all pledge to remain at home all right all pledge to remain at home and try to improve ourselves and since you all are students what is your first and prime most work prime work that you have to be able to study properly and an academy gives you a great example great classes by the top educators on the an academy you will find to learn all the subjects properly so you can attend the free class by using my code nupur life now here you see there are several courses coming up on the an academy they are the here i am i am teaching on the plus course and it is the plus course you see i am teaching for this is for 3 months duration this is for the class 11 okay students you see so many courses by the other top educators in accountancy economics maths english business studies so many educators all top educators are teaching you on the on the class 11 let's crack final exams all these are available on the plus classes let's crack pcm and cs by the top educators will be taught on the on the plus an academy PCMB, you can be taught by all the expert teachers here. Then there is another course here. You see, for class eleven, this is let's crack PCB by the top educators: physics, chemistry, English, biology. Then here again, let's crack PCB. Let's crack humanities. So many courses are upcoming for your class eleven to have a. very good start for your exam of your board exam next you will give your 11th class final exam after that there will be the board exam here you see the pcb course then here i am on this course which is uh, starting on 1st june which is the focus batch along with the other top educators in the different subjects of science So here in the commerce also, the expert teachers will be there on this focus batch, in which you can enroll on the an academy plus course. Now here you see what's new with the an academy. Of course, many of you have attempted. You can ask a doubt at any time of the day. You can ask a doubt. You go to the an academy learning app. Just click on the ask the doubt. Um, click and then you can put update your upload your question crop it properly and just uh, submit it and you get the answers immediately on the uh, from the an academy so it's a 
beautiful it's a very very good way of clearing all your doubts so on this un academy un academy subscription features you see you can sit in your the comfort of your home with unlimited access to all the courses top educators of india you are finding on one platform for all the subjects fully prepared you are for your board exams then you have regular doubt clearing session exhaustive coverage mentorship and guidance also is there study material you are provided on the an academy plus classes practice tests several practice tests are going on test series batch courses everything you find on the an academy subscription now the now when you take the subscription students you can take the subscription for a longer period for 24 months you can see that for 24 months you can you can get uh in how much 24 months 22400 only 500 only thing is you have to put here the educators code and you get 10% discount here also if you are taking for one year only hello pavan mario all hello good morning uh, on the plus for 12 months course you are taking then you pay 13500 it's better for class 11 children to take 24 months but if you are taking for 12 months it is 13500 put my code n u p u r 10 and get 10% discount all right here next you see then comes the iconic subscription it's a little much more uh, benefits are here on this iconic subscription along with the plus subscription you are getting all the advantages of plus subscription plus on the I iconic subscription you can get a personal mentor you can have a live doubt cl solving uh, clearance then you have a weekly report the parents also can connect with the an academy teachers and of course you get a study planner here you see study planner and all the an academy subscription live classes from the top educators like test series quizzes question answers everything is done and you are fully exam ready all right fully exam ready for your uh, class now here you see next here uh, so on the iconic subscription you can see for again for 24 months you are paying 43200 and if you use the code here uh the code here you are using then you get uh, 20, uh then you get the 10% discount again here you see again for 12 months you get 25000 and here you can use the code n u p u r 10 and get the discount this is the place where you will use the code all right now next you see now there is a very nice offer from the an academy here children that if you take a 12 months subscription you get free offers of 2 months 18 months subscription 3 more months extra you get 24 months 4 months 4 months extra 36 months 5 months extra 48 months 6 months extra you get classes for the cbsc subscription for creative corner also there is the different uh, offers and for and the other young coders subscription whichever subscription you are taking and this is valid till 23rd may children this is valid till 23rd may okay now please don't uh, get other um, here you see now what is my request children since you are like the an academy all the youtube classes you can subscribe share with your friends this an academy link for the youtube classes okay now next here we do here children today now we start with the story uh, the portrait of a lady all right 
here we start with the story what is the name of the story the portrait of a lady which is in your hornbill book the very first chapter and this story this is a uh, biography of uh, kushwan singh's grandmother it is written uh, for his who is this lady lady is grandmother the portrait of a lady is written by kushwan singh now kushwan singh's life span is 1915 okay asta good good morning pavan good morning all of you good morning dear 1915 to 2014 he died so he was an indian author who authored his stories with a lot of wit and sarcasm my his stories are really humorous you know it's very witty that is wit means what it is funny yet it is very very nicely cleverly crafted you feel like at times you feel like smiling when you read the stories of his of his all the write ups and sarcastic means he gives a little ironic touch sarcasm is there to bring out something on the surface now this story the portrait of a lady is a fond remembrance of what author's grandmother it is fond remembrance means he he remembers about his uh, life with his grandmother of the author's grandmother now children you must not confuse this lady is the grandmother portrait means what picture the picture he is displaying the portrait he is making of his grandmother who had a great contribution in his life he has been a very very successful writer he has been a very very successful uh, journalist writer uh, and also a politician all right now children let me tell you this is uh, book the train to pakistan it was written in uh, after the um, independence of india that is the story in that novel we find that it is a beautiful description of how there was the time of the partition of india the independence of india and how he writes depicts well and this is made into a movie also train to pakistan now after that uh, for many many years he has written many stories and autobiographies by his autobiography his biographies are he has written about his grandmother here so here you see this particular story is a fond remembrance of his grandmother and here it is set in a typical indian household now when you read this story you find out no that a typical indian household that how she wakes him up in the uh, wakes kushwan singh that is he is the grandson of the lady he she wakes him up in the morning takes him to school then how the school is near the temple then they go to the city life it's a typical indian household description is there and where the author in his childhood lives with his grandmother in the village the author for the past 20 years had seen his grandmother as an incredibly old lady so what happens uh, what kushwan uh, singh has seen that he has seen his grandmother to be very old and for the last 20 years kushwan singh had seen his grandmother in the same face same old age so for the last 20 years he had seen what his grandmother to be incredibly old means to be incredibly means unbelievably old that is very very old with what with white hair and wrinkled face next you see so the time is you remember 1915 to 2014 now the first page children of your hornbill book you see it is there my grandmother like everybody's grandmother all right what is the story my grandmother like everybody's grandmother of course everyone's grandmother your grandmother my grandmother kushwan ji everybody's grandmother is old no so his grandmother was also an old woman all right she was an old woman she had been old and wrinkled for how many years 20 years that i had known her that he had been seeing her that for 20 years he had seen 
the grandmother to be old and wrinkled wrinkled means you understand that is folds coming on the skin due to old age people said that she had once been young and pretty so kushwan singh says that people said that when she was young when the grandmother was young she had also been this old lady had also been young as well as pretty that is pretty means very attractive and had even had a husband but that was hard to believe so this part that was hard to believe by kushwan singh that his grandmother who had who he had seen for 20 years that old and wrinkled face had also been young and pretty he could not believe he could not uh, accept the fact all right so it was very very hard to believe next you see my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece now children see this is a mantelpiece okay now what is the mantelpiece where the fire is lit now in these days you know the uh, fire is not there no we don't have so much luxury to keep a fireplace so the top this is part is known as the mantelpiece in the drawing room and above the mantelpiece the grandfather's po picture or portrait was hung all right this you have understood he wore a big turban now this part is what this is the turban all right this is the turban so the turban he wore wore and a loose fitting clothes now the six he was a sardar he was a sikh he they you they wear that long kind of uh, shirts no which are very loose and his long white beard covered the best part of his chest so he had what he had this beard all right this beard had been long and it covered the his best part that is the most part of his chest he could uh, the beard could be covered and he looked at least 100 years old now children you get mcq in class 11 as well as 12 so these little facts you know you learn very nicely so how old uh, grandfather looked according to kushwan singh he looked a hundred years old all right he looked a hundred years old he did not look the sort of a person who would have a wife or a children so he kushwan singh thought that he was a very old man how could he have wife and children and family he was so such an old man he cannot have like that he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren that is that he thought that grandfather could only have many many grandchildren as for my grandmother being young and pretty the thought was almost revolting so for him for kushwan singh the grandmother being young and pretty he could not accept that it was very revolting it was very unacceptable for kushwan singh what is the meaning of revolting here unacceptable all right now she often told us of the games she used to play as a child now the grandmother used to tell uh, to kushwan singh that uh, and the other children of the house that she also used to play some games as a child now that seemed quite absurd absurd means what absurd is what the that which we, which is not at all true absurd what uh, he thought that it was such a vague thing undignified why undignified for an old lady to be a child and play the games so all these were absurd and undignified for the grandmother and uh, for kushwan singh to accept next you see on her part and we treated it like the fables of the prophets of she used to tell now such stories that she played games and she said about her being young and pretty all these they thought to be just like fables of the prophets that is fables means the stories of the saints that is long time some ancient stories they only could think that they were all unreal uh, sorry kushwan singh only could think that it was very unreal and they were just like the uh, stories of the ancient times 
Now you must have read the fables. Fables are what? All those stories which give some moral. You have, I have must have read the Aesop's fables. Of the prophets means of the saints. So I hope you have understood that he uh, did not accept such facts and all these that she was young, pretty, played games, was absurd. They were absurd, undignified. And he compared that such stories of his grandmother were just like the fables of the prophets. Now the word meanings you see, wrinkled means what? Having lines or folds on the skin, you know. The skin all becomes loose. They become have lines and folds on the skin. Portrait is a painting or picture. Mantelpiece is a structure of wood, marble or stone above and around the fireplace. All right. All these you should learn the meanings. All right. The thought was almost revolting means it was very hard for the author to believe. Revolting means what? Unaccepted unpleasant absurd means which is very unreasonable which is very illogical undignified means disrespectful fables means fictitious fictitious means what unreal stories with moral teaching all right unreal stories with moral teaching fiction you say no you must be reading fictions which are not real stories and prophets means saints all right next you see here now this is the strong hand of the grandparents with a small child with a small grandchild now she had always been short and flat and slightly bent now who is this she grandmother all right grandmother was always has had been short fat and of course bent now why was she bent because of old age her face was a crisscross of wrinkles means the wrinkles were so dense on the face no it was just crisscross the lines were all just very old person if you see the wrinkles become crisscross the lines cross each other running from everywhere to everywhere that was her uh, that was kind of her face no we were certain she has always as we had she had always been as we had known her old so terribly old that is kushwan singh's grandmother was terribly old very very old that she could not have grown older she was very old she could not have become older so the age is not given children but the uh, you know the description of the grandmother is that <clears throat> she was older she could not grow any older and had stayed at the same age for 20 years she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so she could never have been pretty pretty means very attractive she she can never been pretty but she was beautiful nice looking nice to very pleasant personality what is beautiful pleasant person pretty is means what pretty is just flash flashy beautiful very attractive all right next you see now here you see the picture is given here she hobbled about the ho house in spotless white hobbled means she walked unsteadily about the house in spotless white dress with one hand hand resting on her waist so she used to rest one hand on her waist as the old very old people do know they put one hand on their waist and they try to balance themselves on her waist to balance her stoop stoop means what her bent and other telling the beats of her uh, other tellings the beats of her rosary Rosary, this is a rosary where people do the prayers, counting the beads. Telling means counting, all right? Here you see. Telling what she, what she used to do? Count. Counting the beads. How do the people pray, children? They pray by counting the beads of the rosary. 
Her silver locks were scattered untidily over her pale, puckered face. Silver locks means the grey hair. They were all, all over her face and they were untidily because, you know, the old age, the hair also loses its luster, no? And they are not set everywhere her face, the, her grey hair could be seen. And puckered face. What is puckered face? Puckered means here wrinkled face. Pale. Pale means what? She had. She did not have a skin which was very youthful, which was very fresh. Pale means that dull skin color. Pale color. Yellow. Light yellowish. Dull color. And her lips constantly moved. Alright. And her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayer. So what did, what did her lips, her lips were constantly moved in continuous prayer. You know where old people do know, they continuously pray. Inaudible means which could not be heard. Audible means what? Which could be heard. Alright. Inaudible means what? Which could not be heard. Yeah, Dhruv, good morning. Good morning. Next you see. Yes, she was beautiful. Now, Kushwan Singh considers her to be beautiful. She was like the winter landscape in the wind, in the lands in the mountains. So, how does she describe her? He describes her as the she was like the winter landscape in the mountains. Now, children, what is this uh, literary device? This line, what literary device is used to her here? Can anyone tell? What literary device is used here? The comparison which is made. What is this literary device called as? Can anyone say? Anyone? You all are in class 11, no? You, you, have, you know all these things. What is this literary device? She was like the winter landscape in the mountains no one knows this is a simile s i i m i l e all right this is a simile so how does he describe his grandmother that she was beautiful and how was she she was like a beautiful winter landscape in the mountains now in the winter in the winter month that is the cold month the landscape the scenery which you see on the mountains how is it it becomes a it gives a not a very good bright sunshine it doesn't give no in winter it will give a hazy look it will give a foggy look a misty look so he's comparing her beauty with the winter landscape in the mountains an expanse of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment so what was she she was an expanse she was an example she was a be beautiful as pure white serenity serenity means what serenity is calm all right calmness all right breathing what breathing peace and contentment what is the meaning of contentment that is satisfaction <clears throat> next you see now here again the word meanings you must learn it all right crisscross means a pattern of intersecting straight lines the wrinkles are on the face no they are crisscross means they are intersecting the lines are just crossing each other all right, Asta is there, no? Good morning, Asta. Hobbled is walked in an awkward way. How the <coughs> how grandmother used to walk? She used to walk in an awkward way. Very unsteady way, you can say. That is called hobbling. Hobble. Spotless white means she wore clean white colored dresses. Stoop means bend one's body. Rosary is what? A string of beads. Beads are what? Small beads are there. A string of beads for keeping the count of number of times a person is praying. 
you must have seen the religious people they all have rosary they keep on counting all right next is good morning imsal uh locks hair what is the meaning of locks she had a very scattered locks all her hair was disheveled untidy uncombed all right which part uh, asta locks means hair scattered means what disorganized which is not organized which is not combed properly next untidy means which is not neat puckered means what a face contract with into wrinkles inaudible which cannot be heard right serenity is the state of being peaceful and calm very serene means very quiet pleasant calmness is there the mornings are what the mornings are serene then an expanse of white pure uh, pure white serenity what is the meaning of this an expanse of pure white serenity refers to the calm relaxed and peaceful character of the author's grandmother this is the calm peaceful relaxed she was an what uh, how is the example given of grandmother kushwan singh says that she was an expanse of pure white serenity contentment means a state of happiness and satisfaction when you are very satisfied very happy you are contented means you are happy you are satisfied all right next you see here now the next uh, we start here page number 4 itself this is page 4 second paragraph all right next you see my grandmother and i were good friends now kushwan singh says that his grandmother he and his grandmother were very good friends how giving companionship to each other all right my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together so the parents had to go to the city for their job and kushwan singh used to stay in his grandmother with his grandmother in the village what part of his age is this they went to live in the city and where did they live together when he, in kushwan singh childhood all right this is the childhood three this story is divided into three parts children first phase is the childhood second phase is the boyhood when when they shift to the city and the third phase is the early youth okay so this is the first phase when he a uh, lives with his grandmother in the village in his childhood she used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school so in the village she used to get, wake him up and keep him ready get him ready to go to school now she said her morning prayer why she used to make him ready for school she used to continuously say the morning prayers all right yeah he was a child right asta so she used to say the morning prayer in a monotonous sing song way monotonous means continuous very boring go on dragging 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 so in a monotonous way she used to go and uh, go and uh, go on chanting the prayers why and sing song while she bathed and dressed me in the hope that i would listen and get to know by heart now why did she uh, go on uh, saying the morning prayer in a monotonous way with the hope that kushwan singh would listen he was a child no would listen to the prayer and learn it by heart but kushwan singh was a little boy why will he hear? he did not listen i he listened but he did not bother to learn those prayers so what is it mentioned here children see i listened because i loved her why did he listen mcq can come here why did he listen to her prayers she listened because he he listened to her uh, prayers because he loved her voice you all all of you know grandmother's grandparents voices also so sweet so 
he loved his her voice but he was so naughty that he did not bother to learn all right he never bothered to learn it then she would fetch my wooden slate now children you all must have used this this is the wooden slate in which you learn to write the beginning all right in the beginning uh, of your uh, classes in the primary classes in the small classes you learn to write on abc on the slate then she would fetch my fetch means bring my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk that is she kept everything ready for the school a tiny earthen ink pot what is tiny earthen ink pot a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me she used to take a tiny earthen small ink pot now this is the ink pot children now you all use the ball pen no all right uh, now you use the ball pen but early in the olden days what the students had to use fill the ink in the fountain pen and then write so she used to take the earthen ink pot a red pen and all the things she used to tie them together and take it to school all right next you see the word meanings okay now the word meanings here you see again i write here learn all right monotonous means dull and boring bothered means what to be concerned to to hear this is in english uh, imswal this class is in english so i have to i am teaching in english when the explanation is in hindi then you will follow in hindi fetch means what go for and then bring back fetch means to bring something for someone slate is a flat plate of slate formerly used for writing on it in schools plaster means covered with a layer of plaster earthen means which is made of uh, mud all right which is made of fired clay some kind of mud which is made to make some shape of things stale means what stale means which is no longer fresh remember this no longer fresh and pleasant to eat which is hard musty or dry now children stale is not rotten all right stale is not rotten stale is when it is very un when it is not fresh when something is cooked at night and the next morning you eat that is stale all right now we'll do after a breakfast of all right next you see after a breakfast of the thick stale chapati now here comes the word stale now what did kushwan singh have for breakfast he used to now here there is another question he used to have the thick the thick chapati thick stale that is not fresh all right stale means not fresh now children you remember uh, you also uh, must know that in the olden days they did not have so much cooking equipments like us no no not bread chapati is roti choose which we eat now in the olden days they did not have so much uh, cooking uh, ranges cooking equipments no they used to cook the chapati on the chulha chulha was there now in the olden days you know they did not even have fridge like us to we have so many advanced things nowadays so in the olden days they used to cook one time only all right so grandmother also kept the chapatis she cooked and she kept for the next day and in the breakfast kushwan singh used to eat those thick chapatis with a little butter and sugar spread on it it is given to it was given to him little butter was there and a little sugar was there on those thick chapatis and we went to school all right understood children she carried several stale chapatis with her for the village dogs now you see she had love for birds and now this when uh, when the characterization comes you will do okay love for 
birds and animals all right she took the stale chapatis with her to for the village dogs now my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple why did grandmother go with him because see the primary education is uh, helped by his grandmother he was such a literate man he wrote so many stories books for such a long life he has been one of the very good writers of india all right so the grandmother's contribution is there in his childhood also she always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple so grandmother also used to go with kushwan singh because the school was also attached with the temple she used to sit in the temple and he used to study in the school who means asta who grandmother and kushwan singh okay next you see the priest taught us the alphabet all right what did the the priest in the temple in the olden days this is how they were used to teach the priest in the in the temple he used to teach the alphabets and what else now what here the question can come that the priest taught what the alphabet and the, of course the morning prayer was also taught all right then while the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in a chorus what is the meaning of chorus in a chorus they used to say aloud kavya hello chorus means what what is chorus hmm you sing some song in chorus yes it is together or in unison together all right this is called chorus so all the children used to say the morning prayers the alphabets together on the verandas of the on the either side of the veranda in the temple whereas my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures what are the scriptures scriptures are the holy books okay scriptures are the holy books when we had both finished we would walk back together when both finished means kushwan singh finished his classes and grandmother also used to sit there and pray both went back home now word meanings you see scriptures is the sacred writings of the religion sacred means the very pure, pure powerful religious yeah like granth yes so the six is what the granth guru granth no yes yes scriptures gro- growling what is the meaning of growling the dogs used to making a low guttural sound in the throat courtyard means what veranda okay now next we do here now this time now what is this time is what this time means the returning time from the school to back to the home grandmother is again going back with kushwan singh in the return time to from the school now this time the village dogs would meet us at their temple door now the village dogs also knew that kushwan singh and his grandmother both are coming veranda means what veranda in hindi also you say veranda no the two on the both the sides the open place there is a, a ceiling but both the sides it is open in the temple you see the verandas are there now here you see now while returning the village dogs would meet us at the temple door where did the village dogs meet them at the temple door why because grandmother used to carry the grandmother used to carry the stale chapatis for the village dogs she used to keep ready for them they followed us to our home where did they follow from the temple door 
they went till their home growling and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them they they are of course they were they used to fight to eat a piece of chapati when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us so when the parents had gone to the city for the job they were very comfortably settled they were settled in the city they sent for us means they called kushwan singh and the grandmother are you understanding children whom did they call they called kushwan singh and grandmother to the city next you see now that was the turning point in our friendship now what is there that change from the village all right from the village to city life was the turning point in our friendship whose friendship whose friendship friendship of author and grandmother and his grandmother understood children don't keep any confusion all right or uh, that is the author and his grandmother now it was the turning point in their friendship they had so nice time in the uh, yes pile have, have you any question pile you want to ask something so that was the turning point in our friendship that is in the village what all they did in the morning grandmother used to put him uh, uh, used to wake him up then put Uh, dress him then continuously she used to uh, go on saying the prayer so that he used to he could learn but he did not learn he loved to hear her voice but he did not learn the prayers next both of them she used to ha yeah she used to put all his things ready the slate chalk the ink pot red pen everything she used to carry in the bundle and what else uh, she used to take she used to also take the steel chapat she gave him the breakfast sorry she gave him the breakfast of the steel chapatis a little butter a little sugar on the chapatis all right and then she used to take some chapatis for the village dogs so what did i tell you children that grandmother's love for birds and animals can be found in this story we find that in she had a lot of love for the birds and the um, animals now you tell me which bird is mentioned in the story can anyone tell me which bird is mentioned in the story can anyone tell me which bird is mentioned in the story who can tell there is a bird mentioned in the story very good ast the sparrows are mentioned she would feed the sparrows also all right now you see but when the parents called them to city after they were comfortably settled they called for the grandmother and kushwan singh to the city now this was the city life was the turning point in their friendship now you see here although we shared the same room now what happened they shared the same room all right the same room they stayed my grandfather mother no longer came to school with me so this was the saddest part all right supriya so, next week i will uh, do next week uh, i will uh, teach one 12th standard uh, chapter next weekend i will teach the last lesson i will teach please uh, follow my uh, profile on the un academy i have given you many links here at the beginning of the this youtube follow my uh, profile you will get all the notifications all right okay next you see although we shared the same room all right we who are these we 
that is grandmother and author all right grandmother and author all right next you see uh, they they shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me now this is very sad part she did not accompany him to school in the city with kushwan singh because it is not like the village village there were the school was in the temple and grandmother used to sit in the temple and kushwan singh used to study there where the priest used to teach so she could not go to school with kushwan singh i used to go to an english school now here you see he no longer now the comparison will be made in the village where he used to go where was the school in the village the temple was in the school the school was in the temple school was in the temple all right but in the in the city what in the city what happened the city life he went to an english school now the comparison will be given children he went to english school now here he walked to school in village life he walked to school with his his grandmother isn't it with his grandmother now here in with the english school where how did he go he used to go by motor bus no more grandmother going with him he used to go in a motor bus good understood he used to go in by a motor bus and see in the olden days this kind of a picture is this is a motor bus children this is a motor in the olden days like this now your school buses are very nice no they are all so sophisticated so nice but in the olden days but this is also at that time it was very breezy no so in the olden days the motor bus used to be like this and now we have all school buses acs are also there in the school buses so he used to she did not accompany him to the school and she he went to an english school and he went in a motor bus this is the picture now there but no dogs in the streets because city life no dogs in the streets in the village what happened the dogs used to be there from the temple door to their home the dogs used to go with them because grandmother used to feed them the chapatis the stale chapatis there were no dogs in the streets all right streets you understand that is the roads all right next you see and she took to now what is the next thing she could not go with kushwan singh to his school she could not help him in his studies he used to study in an english school so what did she do and she had no dogs to feed also so she turned her attention towards the sparrows and dogs in the streets and she took to feeding sparrows in the court of courtyard of our city house so what did she do she took up she did not get the village dogs so uh, she started feeding the sparrows i hope you all know what are the sparrows sparrows are the small birds children we all have in our homes all right um we have all these sparrows in the home oh my this is an uh, this is class is to be taught in english only children it's mentioned there all right so i have to teach in english please try to follow bhavishya good morning good morning all of you good morning children tomorrow i will do the part 2 of this chapter at the same time 11 to 12 11 o'clock uh, 11 o'clock i will be doing the uh, part 2 of the this chapter only at 11 o'clock all right now you see next so here there were no dogs in the streets and she took to feeding sparrows all right in the in the courtyard of our city house what is the courtyard 
children you must be see, must have seen what is the courtyard all right i'll tell this word in hindi courtyard you know in hindi uh, uh, what is in hindi you know this is called an angan in the back of your house there is the courtyard angan these days we all live in concrete houses no in the olden days every house used to have a courtyard all right all right all the houses used to have a courtyard so next you see sparrows in the courtyard of our city house so where did what did she do she, she started feeding feeding means giving small uh, bread crumbs to the sparrows in the courtyard all right now children have you understood everything till here tomorrow again meet me join me at 12 uh, sorry 11 o'clock tomorrow 11 am i will teach again the second part of this the rest of the chapter i'll clear it shivansh uh, the 12th uh, the c the plus courses have started on uh, the 12th Uh, but twelfth, I will do on the YouTube. I will do next week. Next weekend, I will do a chapter. All right. So you can attend that. Okay. So we meet tomorrow again, children, for the last part of the uh, last part of the um, chapter. Very interesting. It's a very interesting chapter of Kushman Singh. so students please follow the link and subscribe to the an academy channel okay all right did you follow everything any doubt any doubt children thank you astha thank you thank you so much thank you see you tomorrow all of you bye bye all of you bye 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 students